All right, I will help you set up three of these and then I'll let you go ahead and finish them. I'm not gonna do the division, you can do that on your own, but I wanna make sure you set it correctly, set it up correctly. I noticed that on this page, every single one of the dividends is already a whole number. There's no decimal in any of these, none whatsoever. So all you'll need to do when you need to move the decimal one place to make this a whole number, then you'll bit, essentially just add one zero. So then you have 670. On number two, you've got to move the decimal two places in order to make this a whole number. So now you have eight. Since there's no decimal in here, and you know it's right there on this number, it's like adding two zeros, one, two. So then you're dividing 6,700 by eight. When you write this out, you might want to give yourself a little bit more room to put your answer on the top. Down to number nine. To make this a whole number, eight thousandths, you need to move the decimal over one, two, three places. So if your decimal starts here, to move it three places means you're gonna have three zeros. So six, seven, zero, zero, zero divided by eight. And then your final decimal is there. I guess we can go ahead and do one of these together. How about we do, I don't know, we'll do the first one together. Eight goes into 67, eight, well it goes into six zero times, it goes into 67 eight times. Eight times eight is 64. Subtract, you get 30. Eight goes into 33 times. Three times eight is 24. And then we get a remainder of six. We need to keep on going until we don't have any remainder. I'm going to go ahead and put a decimal here since there's not already one. And add maybe two zeros. See how we end up. Now, with our remainder, we'll bring down the next zero. Eight goes into 67 times. Eight times seven is 56. Sixty minus 56 is four. You'll need to regroup if you do that on your own, if you have to subtract it out. Bring down the next zero. Eight goes into 40, yes, five times. Five times eight is 40. All right, now let me take my decimal and bring it up. 83.75, 83 and 75 hundredths. Our final answer is 83 and 75 hundredths. Remember, make sure you divide these out so you have no remainder.